Hey there, it's Daniel with Patriot Muscle. Uh, making this video for those of you who have chronic asthma. I'm not sure it's going to help uh, those of you who have COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. I don't have that. Um, so I don't have any experience with that. I don't smoke, never have smoked. Um, but I did come down with pneumonia, <clears throat> excuse me, about a year and a half ago. And when that stabilized, uh, it stabilized into chronic asthma. So um, I have to use a buterol inhaler and a steroid inhaler too and uh, for inflammation, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and what I'm going to tell you here and, and teach you, I guess I can say, uh, will help with that as well. So um, <clears throat> uh, these things are expensive. I don't have insurance, so I have, to, I have to pay for this out of my pocket. It's about 50 bucks a pop. Uh, might be more or less for you. So, so my intent is to get as much use out of this as I can. And uh, the, the manufacturer's recommendations on how to use this is, uh, uh, well, if you're not using the spacer, I recommend you get it. Um, but you shouldn't need it for what I'm going to teach you here. Um, but their recommendations is use the spacer. You squirt it once or twice into here, let it mix with the air. Then you breathe in and out five times, you know, as deeply as you can, right? But... Uh, uh, the problem is, is when you inhale, even normally, the air that comes into your airway, much of it is ex is expelled, not being used, without being used. So, um, when you do that with this, a lot of the, the inhalant is exhaled without being used. And because it's not, you aren't giving it enough time to mix, to, to be absorbed by your lungs, okay? So, uh, what, what I... Uh, have come up with, and it's this is not new stuff. Uh, might be new to you, but uh, I got my um, uh, EMT credential a few years ago, and uh, even in that class, they told us to not abide by the the rules, um, the the instructions, but that to instruct our patients to hold their breath. You know, so I I actually forgot about that because uh, um, I didn't have asthma at the time and I can't so I came up with it on my own I came to it and I, and I remembered that that, it, that actually taught us that so not that any of that matters but no matter where you get it from hold your breath okay um, I've gotten my, I used to be able to hold my breath up to well over a minute when I was a, a diver but um, uh, a swimmer diver whatever it doesn't matter so um, but uh, just practice holding your breath. I do you know? I can hold my breath up to about 30, 35 seconds now, and and like I said, what that does is it it keep, keeps it in your airway long enough so that more of it is absorbed. And after about tw even 20 seconds, I can feel my airway opening up. I can feel it, you know, so that it's held in there. And then when I exhale, at about 35 seconds or 40 seconds. Whew, it's already open up. It's done its job. It's, and then after that, even more. You know, it's it opens up even more. But <clears throat> so this is what I tell you to do: shake it up first. Uh, actually, before I get too far, make sure you're calmed down. Okay, if you've been exerting yourself and your heart rate is up, your breath rate is up, um, you may as well just. Uh, it's going to be hard to hold your breath. Put it that way. You can try, and I do, but uh, the best thing to do, and or. Or just use your 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 uh, spacer and do what they tell you to breathe in and out and out and that sort of thing. But uh, otherwise, make sure you're calmed down as calm as you can get. Right, uh, sit down for a few minutes and, and you know let your let your heart rate go down, your breath rate go down, and, and all that kind of thing. If you're already in the throes of an asthma attack, it, um, it's you know you just got to do what you got to do. You know. Um, I don't have a, actually in those, in those cases, a nebulizer is the best. I don't have a nebulizer. So, um, okay, so this is, this. let's start from the very beginning. When you just begin to feel the inflammation come in, your, your chest starting to tighten up, that's when you need to do this. Shake it up, you know. Um, <clears throat> if you're not going to use this, begin to inhale 
and actually I, I, I recommend tipping it up like this too and I'll there's a, there's a reason for that but you know tip it up uh, exhale actually I guess this screwy okay sit down calm down shake this up and then exhale out completely <sighs> then begin to inhale squirt it <sighs> and hold your breath as long as you can now it's the same thing with this um, sit down calm down shake it up right get everything loose in there uh, put it on here and then squirt it twice in there then and once again I forgot to tell you to, to exhale out so let me start again calm down sit down calm down everything shake this up get it loose all right put it on there then exhale stick it in your face pump it twice and then hold your breath as long as you can hold your breath all right so uh and, and that's what you do hold it you know get up there as, at, at least 35 seconds you know and by the time you exhale your lungs should already be your airway should already be opened up so where you can breathe and that way you get more out of these you should hopefully be able to use it less times during the day all right and uh, uh typically at night i if I need it just before I go to bed, which seems like I kind of do some most of the time, I do that, and then I'll actually be able to sleep for five, maybe six hours before I need before I wake up and have to use it again. So um, and that's actually good for me. I rarely get a full night's sleep anyway. So <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that helps. A lot of people are coming down with chronic asthma these days. I don't know why. My dad has come down with it too. Um, and he never smoked either. I mean, 50, 60, 70 years ago he did, maybe. Well, he's 80, so it must have been, let's say, 60 years ago he did, briefly. And when he started having kids, he quit, So, which is a good thing. He's a good guy. So um, I hope this helps you. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, good luck.